Portugal have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly. So that's got things on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? This guy, Skriniar, is a true powerhouse defender of real pedigree, Peter. Someone who can make a, a great defensive leader, being so imposing physically and indeed tactically. I suppose he could be smoother in one-on-ones, but he's still an excellent all-round defender. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. It looked as though that might lead to something quite promising, but it turned out that that was not the case. Cristiano Ronaldo. That's good defending, very good defending. Defenders on the back foot. Vitinha floated out to the flank. And that has been clear. Chances keep on coming, they're awarded another corner. Shot it! Oh! And he's there to clear it. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Yeah, listen, we often get critical of a, a forwards tackle, but that was squeaky clean. Slovakia making a great start. They're certainly the team on the front foot at the moment. Well, it's clear they've decided that the best form of defence is attack. Of course, you have to wonder whether they can keep this up for a lot longer. And it's a crossfield ball towards the other flank. Diogo Dallo. Well, he's felt that, hasn't he? Diogo Dallo has been caught there. It's a foul. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Given a free kick. Take it off it, that's really well played. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Now the counter, and it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Rafael Leal. Smoothly does it. He's gone for goal! Goal! Portugal! Not so much sophistication as doggedness and sheer bloody-mindedness. Listen, he would have been advised to do that as a kid, and it's obviously etched in his mind now.
Portugal break the deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. The ball is loose and the chase is on. Oh, that's neat. Oh, good ball, shots on here. He's cut it out. And he's heaved it away. Ruben Diaz did well to avert with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Well, they're labouring their way towards the opposition goal here, Peter, and this needs a much livelier solution. Lobotka. Played out to the right. Oh, it's come loose. The vodka passing is Chris. Great hit! He's missed, but not by that far. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Vitinha. It's an inviting looking ball that. To Cancelo. Uh, the two sides separated by the game's only breakthrough moment to this point. 1 0 the score. Now it's Chris Cristiano He was urged to shoot and he duly delivered. Well, it doesn't have to look spectacular. Why complicate simplicity? Portugal can have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Vitinha. Uh, that pass has been well intercepted. Skrinha. And here's the chance to counter. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why did a Portugal ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. The reaction has already resumed here. And it's Kuchka. Oh, that's a nice... Hits it! Oh, not the best of headers. Great defending, strong and determined. 
Lobotka. And the shot! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. They've played it short. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Now it's Duda. Great skill, that's nice. In comes the cross. And that has been cleared. A real chance to break. And he's forced to go back. Long ball out to the right. Portugal looking to pass their way through. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Ah, oh, it's a lovely bit of skill there. Gets up to hit! Oh, just needed a better contact. Slovakia can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Lobotka. The danger is cut out. And it's played forward, over to the left. Now it's Rafael Leal. He's left his man. Massive leap! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Cristiano Ronaldo certainly could have and should have made more of that. Kuczka shifted upfield. Now it's Duda. And it's hoisted clear. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Well, he's profited handsomely already in this match. And at last, their sense of danger has, has brought them to a possible solution. The vodka clips it so so gently out to the right, and it's Bernardo Silva. Now it's Bruno Fernandez. He is through here. Header! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Skrinya. The vodka. No, he wasn't going to let him pass. Diogo Dallo. Vitinha. Kuchka. Looks to go up and over. Goalkeeper's ball. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that. Duda. Gets his parcel. There's the shot! Call at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. Oh, it's so very disappointing, but they can't dwell on it. They've got to go again. Simple as. Oh, there 
is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but... Hits one! A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Ronaldo is offering an apologetic gesture of sorts. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. And he's hit on goal. And it's Kuchka. He's got the shot away! And it's in! And what a climax we have here! perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare it's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defense and by the time he picked up the flight of that it was too late changes then in quick succession well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake I think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and I think that's happened in this case Slovakia give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish oh can he get onto this well time excellent interception broken the line here now then the balls come loose this official showing that there will be three minutes of added time sends it forward he's going for goal oh the keeper's done ever so well well what can I say truly wonderful goalkeeping from immediate danger and that is it the referee has seen it up